Last month, I took you on a mini tour of the solar system as we went through the top five largest moons from our own moon all the way up to Ganymede. This month, we'll be going a little bit further afield as we take a look at the top five closest stars to Earth. Hello all and welcome to another episode of Science Top 5s where today we're still keeping things local on a galactic sense but we are leaving the relative safety of the solar system. My name is Simon Dan, thank you very much for joining me. When you sit outside on a clear night, stars seem to be the only things you can see. However, you might find it interesting that out of the five closest stars in this list, there is only one of them that you can see with the naked eye at night time. So let's kick this off and in at number five is Barnard Star. Barnard Star is a red dwarf star that sits at just under six light years away from Earth and is perhaps one of the oldest stars in the Milky Way. The fascinating thing about Barnard Star is its proper motion is positively rapid. Relative to other stars, Barnard star moves the width of the full moon in 174 years. In November last year, astronomers discovered a super-Earth sized planet orbiting Barnard star, though it sits well outside the habitable zone. Keep your eyes peeled as well for a heliocentric proof regarding Barnard star coming soon. Okay, next up and in at joint third is a star that is part of a triple system. Alpha Centauri A. Alpha Centauri A is only slightly larger than our own Sun and sits at approximately 4.37 light years from Earth. Sitting in the constellation of Centaurus, Alpha Centauri A is part of a binary star within the triple system it occupies. The other star, and joint third in terms of our proximity to Earth list, is Alpha Centauri B. Alpha Centauri B is slightly smaller than the Sun and about half as luminous. However, when viewed together from Earth, they have a large magnitude and can be seen with the naked eye if, of course, you inhabit the Southern Hemisphere. Magnitude comes in two flavours, if you will, absolute and apparent. Apparent magnitude is the relative brightness of that star as seen by an observer here on Earth. There are many factors that determine a star's apparent magnitude, chief of which is distance. The further away a star is, the less bright it will appear. But of course, we must also take into account the intrinsic luminosity of that star, as well as any potential for the light to be blocked by interstellar dust on the light's journey to Earth. Absolute magnitude is the intrinsic luminosity of the star only, and measured at a standard distance of 10 parsecs. 10 parsecs, by the way, is roughly 30 light years, give or take. One planet has actually been discovered in the Alpha Centauri binary star system, and it's only slightly larger than Earth. Quite unbelievably as well, it's situated in the habitable zone. Could there be life at only 4.37 light years away? It is certainly going to be a target for human interstellar missions in the future, that's for sure. Okay, in at number two is Proxima Centauri, the closest of the three stars in that triple system. It sits at a distance of 4.2 light years away. However, it is a very small, low mass red dwarf star with only an eighth of the mass of the Sun. In fact, if we're talking about visible light only, it is 0.0056% as luminous as the Sun. So there is no surprise to you when I tell you that you need a very decent telescope to view Proxima Centauri. The amazing thing about Proxima Centauri is because of its small size, it will remain on the main sequence practically unchanged for about four trillion years. Quite remarkable. From there, it will pass on through the, to the white dwarf stage without going through the red giant phase. In 2016, there was confirmation that a planet existed orbiting Proxima Centauri, and it was in the habitable zone. 4.2 light years is tantalizingly close for life, isn't it? Right, that brings us on to number one and the closest star to Earth, which probably will come as no surprise to you that it is 
the sun. Quite often we neglect to remember that our sun is just a common all garden star with a relatively average surface temperature and a very modest size. Yes, our sun is pretty unremarkable in many, many ways, but it's very remarkable in one. Because of course the sun is the only star that we know of that supports life around it, an intelligent life at that. The sun and how it works is for another video, so I'll wrap it up today and bring another science top five video to a close. I hope you enjoyed that one. If you did, then please, please do like and subscribe. And as usual, if you've got any ideas for science top five videos, then please do let me know in the comments. I have been Simon Dan, and I'll see you tomorrow for some more Tim Fall Fun. See you then. <laughs>